to another training for the project and portfolio management module on ServiceNow platform here at DTS. Uh, today we wanted to talk about the time card so went over to the application navigator over here and typed in time card and uh, pulls up that application and its modules so let's first go to the all application in this case it's showing me everyone's time because I'm set to an admin I have a first of all uh, I am looking here at the all application and the all application for me shows everyone who has time in the system uh, just simply because I'm set to an admin role so managers have the ability to see their resources time here for time approval and they also can see uh, time for folks that have delegated time approval authority to them uh, they see that here as well uh, for general users they will just see a list of time here that goes back basically a record of their time entry as this shows here this is pending time for this pay period I have a list of time cards here we have the submitted uh, status and this would just show time cards that have been uh, not just pending but have been submitted for approval pending is the status essentially where you've created the time card and you haven't done anything else with it you maybe have entered some notes in there and some time but you haven't submitted it for approval you've saved it and you'll notice as we click through all these screens there's a button here on the top that says new and that's actually where we can create a new time card if we'd like Continuing on, we have approved that application, and this would show approved time. We don't have that currently set up in this environment. And then also rejected. So this is time that once a manager views it, they can click on the time. And I'm just clicking into another menu here just to kind of sim simulate. Um, they would be able to click on the time entries. Uh, they could click on all of them in any of these types of lists as well if they'd like and then they could choose the status to reject um, the time entry and have have an employee fix their time so under the my time card you have the current application and this is where you would enter your time uh, regularly for a task uh, or for, for for each week this is where you would go to enter your time if tasks are assigned to you and you have a limited number of tasks or even if you have a, a, a number of tasks and, and you don't mind generating them you can click here and you can generate any open tasks to or any tasks that have been assigned to you so here you can click to see uh, you can generate any time cards that are assigned to you in the system. In this case, it will create two time cards for me for this new week. I can enter my time here. This is the time card itself. In this case, we have your time fields. So you can enter your time. Here we have a time card. You can enter your time in there, um, your notes you can also enter. From here you can also enter shift differentials if that uh, applies to your, to your work. Our state here can be changed. So 
So I'll save this task, or I could submit for approval. And go back to my time card. I want to create a new task. This one will have a non-work or non-project time rather time bucket associated with it. So I'm going to create that new task back on the previous page. Come here to category and select non-project time. And then we go to this list here. And we have a selection of the same things that we saw as far as the as far as the general list of of time buckets. Uh, new ones will be added soon that were more specific to departments. These are all searchable. So there we have the industrial ones. We've been able to search through those to select one. Okay, I'm just going to choose standard one. We'll just choose sick. Okay, so there that is. I can enter my time on sick. Let's save. Let's submit this for approval. You'll see that I could also revert to pending if I decided I needed to change that. I could delete the time card if that was an error. Of course, I could also change the category and the task name. You can see here there's the task that we just entered, or the time card rather that we just entered. Um, and you can scroll across and see the notes. If I scroll over notes that have uh, the ellipsis on the end, the dot dot dot, it will uh, display the full note text in a window, in a hover over window. You can see that I can also select all of these and perform available actions. So in this case I can revert one of the time cards to pending because remember we just changed one to submitted and then I could submit the remaining four for approval. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And now they're all submitted and it just actually goes to the first task selected as a confirmation for that. It's also worth pointing out, and I've mentioned this in the previous video, you can go to the time card through your tasks. So I'm going to go to my list and see tasks assigned to me. In the My Tasks, list you you will see tasks that are only assigned to you and so you can select those tasks and enter time against them through the task so this will show up as something that's assigned to you and on any task form you can scroll down to the related list click on the time card tab create a new time card for that week enter your time save. So this time card was created through the task but it's also accessible on the time card application itself. Similarly you could enter time against tasks which, are, uh, which were assigned to your group but no specific user. This would be more of a shared task mentality within an assignment group. That concludes this training for the time card and entering time. Thanks for your time. No pun intended.